Is that right? All the bolt bags, yeah, yeah. picking up those rocks and dropping them. Yeah, how's that going? Pretty good, actually. Is pretty it? good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. I haven't heard, uh, you know, the news is so inundating, so I'm not yeah. sure if the travel ban or the uh, evacuation is lifted. Or yeah. No it's, no, it's not lifted yet. Okay. But you guys are above, like, yeah. the ridge? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you guys are safe. Okay. Yeah, we're up in Chico, I tell you what, overnight it just doubled its size. Yeah. yeah, I know all the people out of their house. so heartbreaking, though. Know. Do you guys have any updates for us right now? Um... Anything you can tell us? Stay the hell out of Oroville. Yeah, yeah. stay the hell out of Oroville. <laughs> In Northern California tonight, the evacuation order has been lifted for nearly 200,000 people who live below the Oroville Dam. A damaged spillway is no longer in danger of collapse, but more rain is on the way and the homecoming could be brief. John Blackstone is there. Scott, the huge release of water from the Oroville Dam has helped make the dam safe enough that residents are now being allowed to return. But even as the evacuation order was lifted, urgent work continued on the damaged spillway, racing as quickly as heavy equipment could race, pouring boulders into gaping holes to prevent a catastrophe. Officials are confident those aggressive efforts will prevent a failure at the dam. But just 48 hours ago, disaster appeared imminent. With so much water pouring over the emergency spillway, it was eroding the hillside. The first test of these fixes could come as early as tomorrow when the beginning of a series of storms hits this area. John Blackstone, CBS News, Oroville, California. So the governor says, come home. The engineer says, stay the hell away from Oroville. I think I'd listen to the engineer. What you're looking at here is you're looking at a, if the dam breaks, how long will it take for the water to get to you? As you can see, within one, two, three, four, five hours, the water obviously would move extremely fast. There would be no way for evacuation. As you notice here, they only gave a one hour notice to evacuate before. See, it says they tweeted this, right? They put it on Facebook. And they said that uh, the dam was expected to give way, the auxiliary spillway at the Oroville Dam was anticipated to fail within the next 60 minutes. The failure of the auxiliary spillway would send a approximately 30 foot wall of water down through the valley. And uh, they gave a 60 minute notice. They said it's gonna happen in an hour. So is this how they're gonna handle it next time? Well, this is how they handled it this time. You have an hour's notice, you're gonna die. Or you're gonna drown. Now I wanna show you a couple of very curious things. This is Lake Oroville, the same place that's now running over the top. October 23rd of 2015, it was completely empty. Or very near completely empty. So empty that you couldn't even have boats in the reservoir. So, approximately two years later, we're here. Now take a look at this chart. This chart so shows you from approximately October of last year until today. Okay, you can see the little yellow line at the bottom is approximately today's date. And of course, they are at the peak of how much water is in that dam, or very close to the peak. You know, of course, there's been a ton pouring over today, but we have three inches of rain predicted for the next 24 hours for this area, okay? Now, you see the style of this chart? Look at the way it almost runs straight up, right? Let me show you the chart, the historical charts going back for decades and decades. And see how this year compares. See if you see anything out of the norm that would tell you that something's going on. Different, strange, manipulated maybe. Um, take a look at this chart. Okay, so remember the blue line that was running straight up? You can still see it there and it's circled at the top with a little red dotted circle. Okay, where... The dam is now at 97% of capacity. You see how all the other previous year sets followed almost an exact pattern, a wave form, right?
this is the only year in recorded history since this dam has been in place that we've had this type of of an event there's no, nothing that's even close to it what that leads me to believe is that there's a hand at play there is something out of normal nature's way at play kind of like the explosions going on was a hand at play in the quarry right okay so now take a look at this so here we have the weather set up okay of course over there the jet stream is basically laying directly on top of this part of the country which is why they're going to have wet and wild weather okay um, they are in for three inches of rain tomorrow now is three inches of rain a lot and as you can see they're also going to be in for uh, fairly warm temperatures but is three inches of rain a lot is that like you know a little bit or a lot for this area well according to these reports that area from 1877 to 2016 a period of 139 years uh, the average for that period was 14.77 inches in a year and it says that the the numbers around the 2.61 to above uh, up to 3.87 inches of rain uh, in a period of several days is a record well they're supposed to get three inches in one day starting tonight around midnight or so they're supposed to get three inches in one day it's starting to see what's gonna happen here it's almost kinda like they're calling all the sheep and saying if y'all guys any of y'all guys are that are dumbass come on back in yeah come on home you know come on home if you're a dumbass you know you, you need to die so come on and back and get back in front of this dam so we can drown your ass because there is no way this makes sense and then when you take this into account as well like the record snow melt that they're calling for in uh, uh, central and northern California uh, there's they're putting out flood warnings due to the snow melt um, <laughs> oh boy I've, I, if I could really only say all the things I want to say and don't have time and 